In the last 30 days, I did a MRF every single day. And for those of you who aren't too familiar with CrossFit, the workout was one of Navy SEAL Michael Murphy's favorite workouts to do. And it was named in his honor. It consists of a one mile run, 100 pull ups, 200 push ups, 300 squats, another mile run, and they also do it with a weighted vest. But because I'm not a super freak, I won't be doing it with a weighted vest. So it's more of a beginner friendly MRF for me. Here was day one. I just did my first MRF. It took me around 57 minutes. And honestly, the Pull up, push ups, and squats aren't that bad, but the running sucks. I'm really bad at running. But one day down, 29 to go. Hopefully, I can get it to sub 45 minutes, I think. This is how I look after the first day of doing a MRF. And I'm going to be taking progress photos and videos once every 10 days. Hey guys, it's day three of doing MRF. Yesterday, I felt a little bit of pain on the outside portion of my knee. So I played it safe and walked a bit of it. So there aren't any visible differences from day one to 10, but at least my MRF times are getting slightly faster. I just ran my fastest time today at 39 minutes and three seconds. I still have a little bit over two weeks. So I'm gonna set myself a goal of sub 35 minutes. Let's go. This is day 20 and at this point, I know for a fact that there won't be much, if any, differences to my upper body since I've been doing a whole bunch of body weight exercises for a while. What's up everybody? Please excuse me for looking so sweaty and tired, but I finally beat my record of 38, 20 I think. And today I hit my goal of under 35 minutes. I don't know what was going on today, but I felt great. First mile went extraordinarily well. My pull-ups, push-ups, and squats felt relatively easy today. And usually the second mile kills me, but today um, I knew I was on record pace, so I kind of just fought through it. My left knee is in a little bit of pain right now, but I'm going to ice it right after this video. Pretty sure, well, I'm hoping that tomorrow we all get. I also don't think that I can get any faster in this just because the gyms are reopened and I'm gonna start working out at least three to four times a week. So I might not have enough strength or energy left after the gym, after work to do or to improve my MRF. I'm still going to be finishing the 30 day challenge and we'll see from here. Cheers. What's up everybody, it's August 30th. I have one more day left for the MRF. And today I beat my record yet again. I clocked in at 33 minutes and 21 seconds. And the only reason why I was able to beat my record was because today's a Sunday. So I had the weekend to rest. Uh, there was no work and I didn't work out too. So that was the only reason why I had a lot of energy today to uh, run the MRF at an all out speed. But later I'm gonna go work out again just cause I skipped yesterday's gym session. And also today I ran using another pair of runners and I wore a knee brace. So for once my left knee didn't hurt at all. So since I broke my record, tomorrow I'm just gonna take it easy and do more of a walk jog Murph. Cheers. I started this challenge on August 2nd and the first run was very difficult for me. And that's because the route I ran had more elevation than what I was used to, which was nothing since I didn't run for almost a year and mainly I just ran on the track or the treadmill. So when I was running it, I was literally dying, which made me look for an easier route. And then I just decided to run around my house as the elevation for that was only around 15. And for the majority of the runs, I just stuck to the same one. Literally on my last run, I think I got too excited that it was the last run that I forgot to start tracking on the app. It was very stupid of me, but at least I had the timer on for the entire MRF. 
Here's a clip of me doing my Murph set and if you guys don't want to watch this, feel free to skip to 8 minutes and 36 seconds. After I run my first mile, I would do my pull-ups, push-ups, and squats in that order. But I split the exercises up into 10 sets. For pull-ups, I'll do 10 reps, push-ups 20 reps, and squats 30 reps. And the pull-ups and push-ups aren't too bad, but every time doing squats, I'll always have to rest a little bit. This is most likely because my legs are still fatigued from the run. I was starting to realize that my run times won't get much faster because of the nagging pain in my left knee, so I was thinking of ways to reduce my times doing these exercises. I noticed that I could do sets of 10 for pull-ups and 20 for push-ups without needing rest, so I decided to up the rep count and reduce the total number of sets. And to make it easier to keep track, I just upped my reps for squats too. So I did 9 sets where 8 of these sets are... 11 pull-ups, 22 push-ups, 33 squats, and the first set is 12 pull-ups, 24 push-ups, and 36 squats. If anyone is wondering how I keep track of my set counts or why I keep going to my room, I have a little whiteboard there and I'll write a tick for every set I complete. So I just did a decent time of 17 minutes 44 seconds for pull-ups, push-ups, and squats. And because of yesterday's PR, my left knee still feels a little bit wonky. So I'm just going to walk the rest. I didn't see changes for my upper body, but I should have taken progress pictures for my lower body instead. I felt my quads burn quite a bit the first few runs, and I think they actually became more defined. Here are some pictures from the time I did 500 squats a day, and here are some pictures just from today. I've officially finished 30 MRFs in 30 days. I'm really proud of myself for completing all of it, but I cannot wait for tomorrow to come and just knowing I don't need to run anymore. You know, I'm beyond happy for that. I also learned that my knees definitely have problems. So I'll probably go check out a 
sport physio just to make sure everything's okay and get them to fix up my running form. I just want to thank you guys for sticking through all the way to the end. If you're here right now, thank you. But to make my day even better, please like, subscribe. Cheers.